Hi guys and welcome to today's advice and demonstration video. I've got three products to show you today, all available in, from NRS Healthcare. So the first product I've got for you is the GMARC CL100 telephone. I know it's a very catchy name. As you can see, you've got uh, large buttons here on the front panel which make it really easy to dial out. And another really good feature of this phone is that in the handbook that you get with the phone, it will tell you how to program in telephone numbers for one touch dialing. So you'll see up here there are three priority lines and we suggest putting in your doctors, uh, the police department and also your local fire department just in case you need to uh, ring them in an emergency. Uh, just down the side here that there are nine other programmable buttons and these buttons are for use for your friends and family, relatives, uh, telephone numbers. You can pull out this really handy little card and write down all the numbers that correspond to each button on the side here. So it's really handy and makes sure that you don't end up calling someone by mistake. The main feature of this phone I'm going to show you now and it's to do with the volume level and also you'll, you'll notice as well when I turn the phone on that there's a flash that goes off as well to attract attention. So you should be able to hear it's quite a soft sound, uh, it's, not very, uh, it's not very obtrusive and you should be able to see just here as well that the flash is going off for your attention. What I'm going to do now is just hit it up to the next level and you should be able to hear a very distinct difference. So you can hear there this is a much sharper, much louder, much clearer noise and um, it's really good for those people who are particularly really, really hard of hearing. Okay, so now I'm going to show you our portable telephone amplifier. Now, it's a really small but really nifty piece of kit uh, and it is compatible uh, with hearing devices uh, when you have them on the T or the MT position. It's used predominantly to minimise background noise. Um, so I'm going to just use uh, the telephone I've just shown you uh, to demonstrate how it goes on. So you'll see at the back here, there's just a little plug. All you need to do is make sure that the rubber band is pointed upwards. Pop the plug into the headpiece and secure and then literally pop the uh, rubber band around the headset and you're pretty much good to go. So to turn the device on, all you need to do is flick the switch here. Now you won't be able to hear it from where you are, but sitting next to the telephone now I can quite clearly hear that the tone, the dialing tone from the telephone has been amplified. Now there is one thing that I need to um, tell you about the uh, telephone am amplifier and that's it doesn't work terribly well on telephones that have a built-in speaker and the reason for this is because the speaker in the telephone will emit a magnetic pulse which is then picked up by the telephone amplifier and obviously it then makes it a lot louder and you'll end up getting feedback uh, and a screeching noise in your hearing aid which believe me will not be pleasant so uh, just bear that in mind um, when using the telephone amplifier okay so now I'm going to show you our wake and shake alarm clock it's really good uh, for people uh, with hearing difficulties because not only uh, does it make a very loud noise when it, when it goes off but also it works with this little uh, piece of equipment here which is a vibrating pad and that can be slipped just underneath your pillow when you go to bed. But it also has a flash with it as well so just in case the uh, 
the volume and the vibrating pad don't wake you up. Um, it also comes with a flash as well. Now you can decide which uh, function to use. So there's a little switch here, which means you can either have just the vibrating pad, you can have the vibrating pad with a flash, you can have a vibrating pad with sound, or you can go the whole hog, which is obviously what I'm going to show you today for demonstration purposes. And that means having the vibrating pad, the sound and the flash all go off at once to wake you up. So I'm going to show you and give you a little bit of a demonstration now as to how that works. Um, obviously you do get um, a user manual with this and it will uh, show you in more detail how to, how to set it all up. Um, but if I just put uh, the alarm on for us now. So that should be going off in round about a minute's time. Just to let you know, I'm going to press the snooze button at the top here once it goes off and that will effectively snooze the clock for one minute. Just to let you know as well, you've got two lights here. One to show you that the alarm is about to go off and that it's set. And the other one is the PM light, which proves that it's the afternoon while we're doing this. Now you can see on my hand here that the vibrating pad is very, very strong. <laughs> Um, and I have actually got that on the uh, lower setting. Uh, you can also adjust the tone of the alarm. So according to your preference, you can have it either higher or you can have it lower. And just to show you how loud the alarm can go, I'm going to put it up to max for you. So it's exceptionally loud. And if that doesn't wake you up, I'm not sure what will. <laughs> this is gonna go off um, in just a couple of more minutes because I pressed the snooze button on it. Uh, what I will tell you in the meantime is that should um, you want the vibrating pad to be stronger when it goes off, um, all you have to do is a middle button here and all you have to do is switch that to the left and that will mean that your vibrating pad is at maximum vibration. Uh, also, um, just to let you know that the uh, digital display can be dimmed and brightened again to your preferences um, and all you have to do to do that is um, click on the flashing pad up here um, to bring it down three levels or so and then if you continue to press the flashing bar it will go back up to full brightness and there you go two minutes later and you can see the vibrating pad is going off again the flash is going and the sound Now that time, instead of pressing the snooze button, I actually pressed another button, which is a feature um, that turns off the alarm uh, completely for 24 hours. So there is a way to stop it, um, should you need to. 